you're going to shape the world with this. We know that. On the other hand, there's a huge number of unknowns that could turn out very badly for society. The greatest technology humanity has yet developed. San Altman has major ideas on AI. Is ChatGPT becoming the next big thing? Have a look at this video to learn about Altman's new ventures. Sam Altman, the co-founder and chief executive officer of OpenAI, who popularized ChatGPT, is regarded as the world's next great icon. The CEO, who is 38 years old, is one of the busiest executives in the world right now, as he frequently attends conferences and meetings. Millions of people around the world are interested in ChatGPT and its cutting-edge innovation. Are you one among them? Thus, Altman and any development involving OpenAI is closely followed worldwide. He had the idea for a new business more than three years ago, one that would primarily function as an identification of a person. WorldCoin is an ambitious and technically challenging project with a three-part mission to create a global ID, a global currency, and an app that allows for payments, purchases, and transfers. These transfers will occur using its own token along with other digital assets for conventional currencies. Nevertheless, the opportunity is enormous. The company, which is still in beta and has offices in San Francisco and Berlin, operates in broad strokes. Users must first download the services app before having their iris scanned using a silver, melon-sized sphere that is home to a specialized optical system. The person is added to a database of confirmed persons after the scan is finished and WorldCoin generates a special cryptographic hash or equation that is associated with that real person. The scan is not saved, but the app's private key, which connects to a shareable public key, can be utilized to establish the person's identity anonymously in the future using the hash. The system generates a zero-knowledge proof or mathematical equation that enables the user to provide only what is needed to a third party in order to accept payment or fund a particular project. It is intended to confirm that a person really is a unique individual. Perhaps someday, voting on how AI should be managed will be made possible with the aid of technology. Investors eager to work with Altman seized the opportunity to invest in the company nearly as soon as it was conceived. So it is a total of $125.5 million from Andreessen Horowitz, Variant, Kosla Ventures, Coinbase, and Tiger Global. But the general public has become increasingly cautious. Many doubted Altman's promise to offer one share of its new digital currency to each person who consented to an iris scan. When Bloomberg revealed in June 2021 that Altman was working on WorldCoin. According to WorldCoin, this required decentralization from the beginning in order to supply future cash drops. As a component of universal basic income schemes, Altman has long projected that AI will produce enough income to provide each adult with a small annual salary. The crypto component in the eyes of WorldCoin was essential. However, some people immediately labeled it a new cryptocurrency scam, and others questioned whether a young firm gathering biometric data could really guarantee its participants' privacy. These inquiries are perfectly normal. Since AI technology is everywhere, people are reluctant to give their data to a whole new platform. Later, Altman said that a leak had caused the media's attention, and that WorldCoin wasn't prepared to tell its story in 2021. The group is now disclosing more information after being reorganized under a new parent business called Tools for Humanity. It describes itself as both a research lab and a product company. Uncertainty exists as to whether they'll be sufficient to win over users, but more individuals are aware of how crucial it will soon be to demonstrate one's identity online. Now, what about other endeavors? The biggest news from OpenAI since ChatGPT's introduction was revealed on August 28, 2023. ChatGPT Enterprise, the AI chatbot's commercial layer, will be made available on that day. According to OpenAI COO Brad Lightcap, the tool has been working on it for under a year with the assistance of more than 20 businesses of various sizes and sectors, without usage restrictions up to two times quicker performance than earlier versions, and API credits are all included with ChatGPT Enterprise. As many of you are waiting, the price would not be disclosed publicly, and it will depend, for us, on every company's use cases and size. Block, Canva, and the Estee Lauder companies were beta users. Microsoft increased its investment in OpenAI earlier this year by $10 billion, making it the largest AI investment of the year. In April, the startup is said to have closed a $300 million share sale and an appraisal of $27 billion to $29 billion, with contributions from companies like Sequoia Capital and Andreessen Horowitz. ChatGPT reached 100 million active users per month two months after its November launch, 
setting records as the most rapidly expanding consumer application in history. More than 80% of Fortune 500 businesses were actively using ChatGPT. One significant distinction between ChatGPT Enterprise and the consumer-facing version is that some of these features aren't yet accessible in the latest launch. ChatGPT Enterprise will let clients input company data to train and customize ChatGPT for their own industries and use cases. The business also intends to roll out ChatGPT Business, a lower level of usage for smaller teams, though it did not provide a time frame. The launch of ChatGPT Enterprise coincides with the intensification of the AI arms race among the top chatbot developers, including OpenAI, Microsoft Google, and Anthropic. Tech firms are rushing to release new chatbot apps as well as new features in an effort to persuade users to include generative AI into their daily lives. OpenAI released its iOS app in May 2023, and then in July, it released its Android version. Google develops its Bard chatbot on a regular basis, and Microsoft updates Bing with new capabilities like visual search. Which chatbot is your favorite and why? A new AI chatbot, Claude 2, was introduced by Anthropic, the AI business created by former OpenAI employees, in July, months after receiving $750 million over two investment rounds. We do not train on your business data or conversations, and our models don't learn from your usage, OpenAI quoted in a blog. Like many big language models, ChatGPT is expensive to run. According to a tweet from CEO Sam Altman, each chat probably costs OpenAI single-digit cents. This suggests that running the service for 100 million users a month may cost millions of dollars. Choosing which features to prioritize was the largest challenge for ChatGPT Enterprise's development, like Cap said. He claimed that among everything that would be released in the following few months, the prioritization of how you pulled forward those things based on how people are using the product and what people really want and what's empowering was the topic of a lot of debate, I would say, on the team. One specific instance is advanced data analysis, a function of ChatGPT Plus that was formerly known as Code Interpreter. Although the feature sat stacked ranked in a list with a number of other things that are perhaps equally exciting, the team decided to prioritize offering it sooner as opposed to later due to the company's feedback. In simpler terms, OpenAI's plan is this, as many enterprises as we can over the next few weeks. Now, shouldn't we look at the darker side of this? Come on, everything has two distinct sides. Hear from San Altman himself talking about the rapid flourishing of GPT. The CEO of the company that produced ChatGPT thinks artificial intelligence technologies will fundamentally alter society. I'm particularly worried that these models could be used for large-scale disinformation," Altman said. Now that they're getting better at writing computer code, they could be used for offensive cyber attacks. He thinks it poses serious risks but also has the potential to be the greatest technology humanity has yet developed and vastly enhance our quality of life. And while talking about this, OpenAI claims that ChatGPT4 has significantly improved over the previous edition. This includes the capacity to accept photos as input. Demonstrations show GPT-4 identifying what is in someone's refrigerator, figuring out riddles, and even explaining the significance of an online meme. Currently, this feature is only available to a select few users, including a group of blind people who are taking part in beta testing. However, according to Altman, disinformation is a recurring problem with AI language models like ChatGPT. Eventually, the software may provide consumers with false information. And again, we won't get it perfected the first time but it's so important to learn the lessons and find the edges while the stakes are relatively low. It is good to hear words of hope from this man, and we are eagerly awaiting for future improvements in WorldCoin and more. Hope you found this video interesting. If so, don't hesitate to tap that like button. Comment down your views on OpenAI and ChatGPT. Subscribe to our channel with notifications turned on to know more similar info. See you next time with more amazing content. Bye.